So it's just one of those days where I want to do something to my truck. So Vent O'Reilly's bought a brand new fuel filter. I don't know when the fuel filter on this truck was last changed, but she's got 165,000 miles on her right now. So I figure, you know what, hey, haven't been changed. Good time to do it now. Well, first order of business, we got to pull the fuel pump fuse so I can start the truck up and let her use up any remaining fuel pressure. All right. Imagine the truck's not going to like this, but don't want fuel pissing everywhere in the engine bay when I take it off. Yep, conked right out. I suppose the next thing I'll do is I'll move this air cleaner box. Give me more, give, give me a little more room to work down there. Simple enough. Just got a plastic bag plugged up in the uh, throttle body, so no foreign crap gets in the engine and stuff. So now I got a lot more room to uh, work with that fuel filter. After lots of uh, wrestling, pulling, and cursing, the old fuel filter's off. And here it is. And I noticed as the uh, gas was draining out the bottom there, it was real filthy. So after I get the new one on, I'm going to try and cut this open because I want to see what uh, the inside of a fuel filter looks like after 164,000 miles. And we'll get our nice shiny new fuel filter and put it in. Alright, the new fuel filter's on. That was a lot easier than getting it off. All I had to do was put those hoses back on, got some fresh screws for those clamps, and we're in business. And while we're on the subject of uh, fuel filters, anyone remember that episode of uh, King of the Hill? Where there's that tornado about to hit and Hank Hill goes to the store and he's got to buy fuel filters for his truck. He has to buy the big pack. Well, what could possibly happen with a with a package of fuel filters? Hey, this jackass is stealing the fuel filters. I need fuel filters. What are fuel filters? I need them. All right, the air cleaner box is back on. The battery's hooked up. Let's go plug that fuel fuse back in. See what she does. In she goes. Put no fuel squirts everywhere. Idle's pretty smooth. I don't see any fuel squirting. And there you have it. That's how you change the fuel filter on a 95 Nissan pickup hard body. Well, I just had a dirt moment and forgot I uh, to connect. I think it's an oxygen sensor back up in the air cleaner box. But after I did that, I took this truck on a test ride. And oh my gosh, can you feel the difference? It accelerates smoother. I noticed before it. Seem to sputter a little bit when you hit the gas hard. None of that anymore. Feels faster, feels peppier. Man, what a difference. So, <clears throat> with this in mind, I'm going to try and cut this open, the old filter, and see what the inside of that looks like after 164,000 miles. Well, I don't have tin snips, so I can't really get this open all the way, but... Yeah, it was nasty in there. As soon as I cracked this, like, crud and sediment poured out. Wow. I can't believe I was running on that crap. So yeah, if you haven't changed your uh, fuel filter recently, uh, you might want to consider doing it. Especially if you are uh, got a check engine lighter, you notice you got no power. 